Houston Skateboard sent me some decks, so I'm about to unbox that. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing on this channel. Uh, for those of you asking, yes, I still ride for Houston Skateboards. I've been getting a lot of people asking that lately because of COVID and the pandemic, there's a lot of shortage of wood. So wood is very hard to come by. To answer your question, yes, I still ride for Houston Skateboards. My relationship with Houston Skateboards is still great and wonderful. I'm so grateful. Ooh sticker right on opening it. Houston Skateboards camo hat with an orange logo. So a huge H sticker with another logo and the skyline. This is sick. I've never seen one of their stickers this big. Oval shape, blue. We got this Houston Skateboards pizza deck. Look at that. Real cheesy with some pepperoni. I think I'm skating this one first. We got a Blue Stain 825 a Houston Skateboards map. It's a map of Houston. And then we got this Houston Skateboards compass. Look at the detail. This is so detailed. All 825 Houston Skateboards decks. Let me know which deck you like best. If this vlog feels a little bit rushed and a little discontinuous, that's because it is. I missed a day yesterday. Yesterday would have been seven for seven, dropping this vlog. I wanna come up with quicker ideas. I've been going through my camera and just clearing it out and trying to put all the skate content out there. And that's the thing with vloggers, is like sometimes you go on a vlogging trip to a different state and you don't get anything good. It's because whatever you filmed doesn't tell a story. It doesn't match the vibe, the energy of like what you were doing before. It's its own thing that doesn't read coherently with your other body of content. So some ideas that I have for upcoming videos are q and A. I I want to make a PFP board out of the electric skateboard. I think that'll be fun. All you gotta do is just follow my Instagram account right here and then just DM me and then I'll just screenshot your profile picture and then just print them all out, take off the grip tape off the electric skateboard and then put them all on. I think that'd be sick. It'd be dope for TikTok too, for sure. Like my preferences with grip tape, how I feel about clear grip tape, I think that's a good video. Creating an entire skate park in Google SketchUp in 24 hours. That, I think I would need the weekend for that. You know, I work a nine to five. I'm happy it's Vlogmas and I get to do these vlogs every single day. I am sleep deprived. Yesterday, if I would have stayed up an extra 50 minutes, I would have had this video dropped yesterday. I dropped the ball, I passed out. After Vlogmas, I definitely want to do the same, but for TikTok, it wouldn't be the same really because TikTok, you're supposed to post daily anyways. I would just go ham and just only focus on TikTok. So maybe like take a step back from YouTube, let the algorithm breathe. Head over to my Instagram and just ask me some questions and you could be in the next video. All right, I'm gone.